Hey YouTube, I'm going to teach you a magic trick today. Well, it seems magic for a lot of people. Uh, they have a hard time soldering Hobby King for millimeter bullets. Now, I've been soldering since I was 8 years old, so um, when I hear about people having troubles, I'm like, huh, what's the problem? <laughs> so hopefully I can uh, uh, impart to you some of my, my soldering skill here. Um, usually these do take a little bit of practice to get just right. But after you get that down, they're just easy as pie to work with. Um, and they're also really cheap <laughs> as well, and are rated for 90 amps, so that's pretty cool. Um, so without further ado, let's turn on the soldering station. I've got a uh, 70 watt station here, nothing too fancy. Um, and the tip that I'm using is kind of a narrow, kind of rectangular shaped tip. So, all right, let's take our bullet here and stick it in the little soldering hopper. Now, you're really going to need one of these. This job is like near impossible without these. So, yeah, these are like three bucks at Hobby King or Harbor Freight, other China dealers. They're just uh, worth way more than three bucks in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I definitely recommend you get one before you try doing this. So you, uh, let's see, you see this little hole right here? That's what's going to allow us to um, solder this very easily today. I'm going to stick it in my little soldering helper with the hole facing this way, since I'm right-handed and, yeah. Uh, the first thing you want to do, stick some flux inside there, swish it around so that the entire little circle in here is coated. Now you don't want any like hanging out because that will attract solder to hang out here and that'll just make it a uh, hellish time for you to get the housing on. So our soldering iron is warmed up. I got my 10 gauge wire here. It is already tinned. Yeah, you're gonna definitely need to tin these first. Um, so, get a nice blob of solder inside here. Come on. And what I do is I kind of tap it in here. So I have a little blob hanging out. Just kind of swish it around in there. Just like we did with the flux. We get a little more. There we go. When the inside of this thing is coated, when you're dealing with 10 gauge, and you're ready to go. I'm just going to give it just a little, a little bit more. And there you go. So, next step is to stick your wire in there. And then, the magic trick. I'm going to stick my soldering iron kind of in that hole a little bit. And that'll start to melt the stuff that is hanging out on the sides. You see this is kind of starting to go in. Eventually it'll start to melt this solder and it'll just kind of merge. Come on. It starts bubbling. There you go. Yep. Bam. Wait, actually it's a little off center. Let's try to reposition it. There we go. Perfect. Alright. There we go. We've got uh We've got a bullet connected to a 10 millimeter wire. And you know that's in there pretty good when you can see solder right here. You probably can't see that on the camera. But we'll tug on this in a little bit once it uh, kind of cools down to make sure that I got it right. I'll do another one just so you can see again. So you take your bullet, kind of clip it on there. Make sure the hole's facing that way. A little flux on that bad boy. Just swish it around in there. You get a big ass blob. <laughs> this time. See that? It's pretty big. Tap that down. See that big old blob? Yeah, that's what we want. Swish that around. 
looks pretty good. All right, let's stick a wire in there. Let's see which side. I think I'll. This side's a little narrow. I think I'll stick a little extra solder on there. There we go. And stick the soldering iron inside that hole. That melted again. Come on. Oh yeah. When it starts sizzling, it's good. Alright. There you go. That's not so hard, is it? It'll take you a couple tries, but uh, you'll get it. Let's let's test ours that we uh, soldered earlier. Just kind of tug on it. Juggle it. Yeah, that's secure. Now, there's kind of a trick to getting the housing on. Well, not really that much of a trick, but a lot of people don't get it the first time. Um, these housings like to go on backwards, not forwards. Uh, and when you get it up to this point, uh, there's a little, a little ridge hanging out right here. You'll need to push this forward past. And what, what I do is I take one of the male sides, stick it in here, and then press it against the table. Bam! And there you go. Done. Sometimes it can actually get pretty hard to uh, get on. So what I do in that instance is so I stick the housing on, stick this on there. I get some big pliers. <laughs> I kind of squish it. Bam. When you hear that little click, you know it's on there good. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about, really, is if uh, occasionally a little solder will spill out of that hole. And you might have to hit it with like a file um, because the housing usually won't go on without a fight. So, yeah, I mean, you could do this in less than a minute each. So, I hope I've taught you something and uh, have fun riding.